Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. If you like to support the channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we have another red day today. We did rally in the beginning of the US session or European session up towards the 12.6K, dropped all the way down towards the 12.2K, and then rallied at the end of the US session. At the current stage, we are trading underneath the 50 moving average, and, and it doesn't look really good for the NASDAQ at this current stage. If we look at Fibonacci retracement levels for for this breakdown then we can see that we are we have basically broken through the 50 approaching the 60 at 1.8 is down here at 12.0 k and there we should see this market uh, basically see a rally or there should be finding a lot of support around this area which is 12 breaking below 12 then that opens the door back towards 11 k uh, markets have been falling off a cliff is since the Powell basically said that the, the Fed was going to tighten its monetary policy and there was going to be some pain going forward and uh, well most likely a recession but and therefore we had this massive fall of roughly a four percent um on Friday. If you look at technical indicators for the Nasdaq we see that MACD is still bearish, stochastic is also bearish and the RSI is also bearish. Probably gonna have the mar with the market at the moment is that we are, we are still on the edge of being oversold. So we may see this market drop towards the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, and at that point we are approaching 30 in the daily uh, chart uh, in the RSI, and uh, going below that for for the Nasdaq or any of the indices, usually uh, you'll see a rally after that. We can see it here. We have rallies here. We have rallies, and um, Getting to oversold conditions usually tends um, gets a lot of attention from buyers, and buyers will come back in. So we may drop lower than this, down to 12, but after that, kind of expect this market to rally a bit before going lower, as we are definitely continuing with this downtrend as rallies up towards the 200 EMA, the 50 have all been sold into, and that is just a continuation. Of this move that we have seen since January. So let's look at S&P 500. Very similar here. We did rally above the 200 EMA, and uh, we have broken below the 50 yet again. Technically, the indicators are looking kind of terrible at this current stage. MACD is bearish. Stochastic is bearish. RSI is also bearish. Also here on the edge of being oversold. Also here we can look at the Fibonacci retracement to see that we have most likely broken below. The 50, we are we are basically testing the 50 at this current stage. We have bounced from the 50. 60 is down here at the 3,897. And that's where kind of we are expecting a rally up towards the 50 moving average again. So 50 moving average is moving this direction. So breaking towards the 60, uh, 1.8, we may see a retest at the 50 before it going lower. 200 moving average uh, EMA is massive resistant. Uh, we have tested it twice and then just basically break, broken down significantly. And the bottom of this market is down here at the 3.6K. So that's basically the lows of June that uh, most likely looks like we are going to retest going forward into September, which usually is a terrible month for, for stocks in general. So let's look at uh, Dow, Jones. Dow Jones. Dow Jones has been more resilient than the... the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, but also here we got all the way up towards the 200 moving average, broke below it yet again, fell off a cliff on Friday, and now we are trading underneath the 50 moving average. So the 50 is most likely going to move in this direction, 200 moving yet again in that direction. Uh, we're not seeing a crossing anytime soon, and uh, as it looks at this point, and therefore long-term trend is most likely going to be bearish. So also here we can see that the test of the 50 has been rejected, 200 has been rejected, 50 yet again, also 200 rejected, and now it looks like we are going back towards uh, the lows. So the lows here is down at the 29.6k, uh, 29 
and uh, breaking below that then, then it opens the door to much lower levels if you look at fibonacci retracements for for the dow jones we can see that we have broken way below the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement. 61.8 is down here at the 31.4k, and it kind of looks like we are most likely going to test that tomorrow. But also, here, also here should expect this market um, market to basically rally from that point up towards the 50 before going lower. If you look at the Fibonacci, if you look at the MACD, it's still bearish. Stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish, as even more oversold uh, than. Uh, or even lower than the S&P or the Nasdaq. So let's look at the DAX. The DAX, well, did rally. It made an attempt to rally up towards the 50 moving average and then got absolutely crushed, creating a shooting star here. 50 moving average is most likely moving in this direction, 200 yet again in that direction. And both of these moving averages, again, let's up again. Both of these moving average have offered massive uh, resistance in the past. We saw it here, broke down, rallied yet again to the 200, broke down, rallied towards the 200, broke down. And the question is whether or not we might, we will break down below this level here, which is roughly at the 12.4K. If we do, then this will mostly be the next level, 11.4K. Uh, and after that, towards the 10.1 and then all the way down towards 8K. This is not looking really good for, for the DAX as we are, we are getting rejected at the 200 and the 50. Uh, this will just continue uh, going uh, lower. We need to basically break above the 200 and have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 in order to um, see this market basically turn around at this current stage. But rejection here at the 50, this uh, heavily is most likely going to lead this market back to the lows, but we'll see. If we look at the MACD, it's uh, bearish. Stochastic uh, has crossed the signal line, becoming bullish but in negative territory. And RSI has turned around, uh, becoming bullish. And we are at 38 at this point. But rejection here, that is kind of boring that people are starting to sell when we can approach the 50 moving average. So, Japanese Nikkei, we can see that we did rally up towards the middle of the bullish band, which is the 20 simple moving average at 28.3k. Trading at 27.9k at this point, looks like we are gonna have a crossing of the 200 moving average and the 50. If we do, that's a golden crossing. Usually, it's a sign of a bullishness. But considering that all other indices are mostly going to fall, I wouldn't. I would be surprised if we see this crossing or the 50 just continues lower and we'll have the 200 just staying above, and there will be no crossing. crossing. If we, if we have a terrible day tomorrow, then we may drop below, and that will basically cost the 50 moving average to move uh, lower and not have a crossing here. MACD is bearish, the casting is bearish, and RSI is also bearish, and there's still a lot of room to the downside compared to uh, other indices. The lows in the market is down here at the 25K, which we have tested several times in uh, in 2020. And recently we did break this double top here and went for higher up towards 29.2K. At this current stage, we are dropping, but we need to test the 250 before going forward. It may well be that we will see something similar to this. Bounce from the 200, have a crossing here, and that's a fairly bullish sign for the Nikkei. So let's look at the VIX. VIX continues to climb. We did just absolutely had a massive decline all the way down towards 90.7. Uh, and then now we have back towards 26.3. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is also bullish. So momentum at this current stage is to the upside. And uh, we're going to be fairly overstretched here in the bullish band. That's why probably we're pulling back. But breaking above uh, 26.9, that leads basically leads us back towards these highs. That's kind of what this is signaling at this current stage that we are going back to the highs. And that would uh, correspond well with the fall in these indices, as there's a negative correlation between the weeks and the indices. So let's look at the 10 year. 10 year has found support down here at the 200 moving average and has since been rallying. 
We are training at the 3.1 at this current stage, uh, having problems to get above 3.136. Uh, if we do, then we will mostly go towards the 3.2 and then all the way up towards 3.5. Uh, expectations for for rate increases has basically led this market to rally yet again and as the fed chairman was so uh, hawkish in his speech um, this market will probably take some time before it, re it retests uh, the 50 or the 200 moving average macd is still bullish stochastic is still bullish and rsi is kind of flat at this current stage so hope you find it helpful you want to support your channel by subscribing subscribe, 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 and above and see our news videos and good luck thank you very much